What's good YouTube man, welcome back for another video with your boy Mikey man. So for today's video, we checking out something different, you feel me? So if you guys don't remember, if you guys remember when I did the, um, the Ratio Nas MC reaction, they said something about Favela, and I didn't know what Favela was, so I asked you guys what Favela is, and you guys told me Favela is like a, it's like a slum, it's like a Brazilian slum, like it's like a place, like a, um, it's like, basically it's like a, an aban like it's like a city that is abandoned bro it's like an abandoned city you feel me in brazil so basically it's like a place like a like not like the hoods not like american hoods but it's like it's like the city it's like a city its own city it looked like its own country so it's like its own city but then it's like really nobody really cares about it it's like abandoned nobody cares about the city you feel me so for today's video we checking out city of god most notorious favela in brazil part one so if you're new to the channel make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and if you're watching this video from brazil hola do the bang how you doing so yeah without further ado man let's get started with today's video man let's get it That's what it looks like. So look, it looks. I'm not gonna lie to you. On the other side of the favela, on the other, I'm not. I don't know if that's the favela, but on the other side, it looks a little bit clean. But then when you look on the left side, no, on the right side, it's like really bad. But on the left side, it's really, really good. You feel me? It's an unorthodox way to cross the bridge. It's crossing on the roof. Dot, so it's called see dot they do you feel me yeah yeah that's a lifestyle of brazilian yo look at that damn oh, no cap bro i'm not gonna lie to you bro so look so look this literally looks like it don't look like it my so like i'm from ghana right and i'm from a, i'm from if you guys don't know ghana has like i think ghana has 16 regions and i'm from the voter it's called i'm from the voter region of ghana right and where my my dad and my grandma and my my grandparents and my dad from it looks just like this bro it does not look like this but it's like the view the seat like not the scene but like the way everything is set up is the same and I've lit, I always like when I was in Ghana, I always used to go to like I always I always used to go to the village every year, bro. Like on Christmas, when I when I'm like when we have vacations from school, and when I was on Christmas time, because my dad wanted us to see the lifestyle he had when he was in Ghana. So like when I was in Ghana, like for like for my 14 years of being in Ghana, bro. I used to go to the I used to go to the village every year, bro. Every year we would go to the village. We go to the village on Christmas and we go to the village on vacations. So we just go there, go stay with my grandmother. We just we just live the life of the village. So I I I, I know what this is like, bro, because I've lived the same life before. Because like my, my we literally have a house in like the city, but my dad just liked us to go back to the village and just experience the same to have the same experience he had when he was a kid. You feel me? So like I know all this, I know how it feels like I've been in the same, you feel me, in the same environment. Like when everybody is outside, we all play around, we all share stuff, like everything is like, and I'm telling you bro, even though it looks like this bro, this is the best life I've ever been. Like when I was in Ghana, like all this, it's, it might seem like, it might seem bad, but personally bro, this is one of the best lives bro, because you're free, you can do whatever you want to do. Not like in a bad way, but in a good way, you could literally do whatever you want to do, like you could, your friends are like next door, you have neighbors, your families, like everywhere, bro. It's like the best life, you feel me? But here, now you have to go get a car, 
You have to drive around, you have to go get a job. Here, if you don't have a job, you still have a place. It's like, you literally set, bro. You don't gotta worry about taxes, nothing. It's just, I feel like me personally, when I was in Ghana, like I was, I was experiencing the same things. I feel like I was having more fun. I was having more fun when I was doing all this. But now I'm here, I'm always inside. Like my friends live in a whole different place. Like that's, that's really crazy, bro, man. People are good people. He just says that it's a lot of you know missing of uh, fault of education, you know. Right. But it looks the same, you know. It's just the buildings look different. Literally, it looks the same. Bro. Educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. That's right. The era of education is a condition of suspended judgment on everything. As a creator, having access to ArtGrid's industry-leading stock footage has really helped my videos. E aí na parte da tarde, eu programei para a gente ir na 13. Right now we're in one of the lower parts, then we're gonna head up to another kind of stairs that will lead us up to the second part. Okay. And then in the afternoon, we'll hit up three small parts in the community here. And you can see that, you know, it's a nice day out at least. Yeah, no rain. Is he born here? I was in my life for the whole life, I was in a sense. Sim, eu sou criado aqui, morei aqui 24 anos, me tornei fotógrafo aqui. He's lived here for 25 years. Bro, look at the stores, bro. The stores look the same, like, it looks the same. I'm telling you, the stores look the same, bro. So when there's an operation and there's violence, it looks the same like Ghana, bro. He's here, always sticking. Like the same lifestyle. We have motorbikes everywhere, bro. It's the same. Yeah. 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 We don't call them favelas, but there's a name for it. But we have like the same like structure. Like we have a part where it's really bad, and we have a part where it's really good. You see, you feel me? And I've seen this part in Ghana too before. Structures for the people who live here. It's just that due to the process of you know corruption and government corruption, corruption. This is a really, 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 really slow and agonizing process. But they really want to give dignity back to the people who live. I mean, because you can see, this is raw scratch. Right. There's not much here. There's nothing here. There's no. There's no structure for them to live. Yes, no. Yes. 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 Isso aqui era tudo barraco, tudo casa, né? Tudo construção. Em 1960, se decidiu que o lugar foi criado, certo? Em 1960. Eles foram criados em outras áreas, comunidades em outras áreas, e eles vieram para aqui. Eles começaram a cidade de Deus. Então, em 1985, eles começaram a melhorar a situação, eles começaram a criar um. Um, you know, like association, association. Okay. And so now, this is something that was built in the 2000s. What we saw back there. I was born in the. Yeah. Well, I was born in the 2000s, bro. So this place was even. This was a place before I was born, bro. That's crazy, man. That's 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 crazy, bro. That's crazy. Bahak is intense. Those were destroyed. They were right here in the same spot, and they built a, a little. This is a nursery school for kids. So they're going to do the same thing there. They're going to build something. They're going to destroy it and build something else, else. and that's make people more dignity. That shit, that's that's really crazy. In recent years, is it getting better or worse? Like more dangerous? Mais perigoso, tá mais tranquilo, como você? Mais tranquilo. Então é isso que eu queria mostrar para vocês. Então aqui, vocês repararem as casinhas, tá vendo? Yo, it's the same way, bro. Like, I would never expect. I would never expect. So if you look at the image, here, the yellow, we're going to 
Quer passar por ali? Barricades here? Yes. So it's a problem politically because a lot of people hate this. They put these barricades along the entire, because this was built in 1997, this highway. So all of these barricades in a block, they block everything. And so people get really sad because they can't show their area, they can't show where they live. Yeah. They, it gives a bad image and a bad representation, like, oh, it's a dangerous place, it's a dangerous favela, well, you can't look inside. Right. Wow. And it's sad, it's sad that, that that's a form of isolation, you know? Gun. Gun shot. E eles colocaram esse tapume para que você entenda. Ele yeah. lá de fora, ele tem um desenho que está escrito para ele. Quando você passa, ele acha bonito. There's a design outside to make it look beautiful. So when you see it, você vê isso e aí esconde a realidade. So it hides the reality of the favela. It doesn't do anyone a service. Não há uma criança da favela para dar um tênisinho, uma roupinha. Ele pode vir, entendeu? É, ele vai sair, mas é uma possibilidade tipo quando ele chegar na câmera tá. Uh, so we're going to go to a woman, uh, Gisele, who is that again? Gisela. Gisela. Uh, Gisela has like a, a collective here, a social collective, where she gives income and food basic baskets and holds many types of things to help the people. Yo, this, this, watching this makes me want to go to Brazil, bro. I just want to go to Brazil and experience it, bro. Like, I'm watching it on, on video and everything, but like, I just want to have the experience of it. You feel me? It just makes me, like, I don't know how to say it, but like, because we have the same problems and the same things in Ghana too, right? So like being able to see that we have similar stuff in other countries, bro, it just makes me feel, it makes me feel like, it makes me feel some type of way. It don't makes me feel, it makes me feel like, like at the end of the day, we are all the same people, like we have the same struggles, bro. You feel me? Like I, I was not expecting Brazil to look like this. The Brazil that they show on TV is not what I see, I'm seeing right now. You feel me? And the same way to Ghana too, bro. Some parts of Ghana, they don't show some parts in Ghana, bro. That you see on TV, the parts of Ghana that it shows is not what you really see on TV. You feel me? But that's really tough, bro. Now I want to really go to Brazil. You feel me? We're gonna go meet her and check it out and kind of yeah. As we're talking, what does this say? What is it, sir? It's like the friend. Oh, recado para que você seja bem-vindo, mas que você curte a favela, não seja não não venha com maldade. So it's kind of like, like the troops are welcoming you to the favela. Oh, okay. You know? So it's like, this is like a message from the drug dealers. Can people from other favelas come into this favela? Wait, so what, what did it say from other favelas to this favela? Does that mean like, is it like, like I don't know how to say it, but I, I can express it better like in the United States, the way you guys. So like United States, they have different types of gangs, right? So does the favela mean like, you know how you say from different favelas, does that mean there's like different types of gangs coming to other gangs? Like, can you explain to, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying, but like, that's what I'm trying to, like, does that mean like different favelas represent different type of people? And like they, they have like their own type of sets and stuff. So when they move into like coming to different favelas, this makes it look weird, it's different, you feel me? Do they like, cause you know how in the United States they have the old block and they have the other part, they have like, two different parts like and both parts don't like each other you feel me so like they all like they, they oppose against each other and stuff like that you feel me uh, but you can't always in from certain communities with other drug dealers and factions you right. cannot uh, let you pull all of them. yeah that's what i was saying that's what i was saying so like so like different favelas have like they have different sets they have different drug dealers they have different people and stuff and then this one have their own set of people too like they're trying to all make it out. So like, it's like a competition from both sides. So like, they don't like each other, you feel me? I don't know if that's what he's trying to say, but that's what I'm getting from this, you feel me? It's like two different type of favelas trying to see who's the better one, who's the better favela, who has the better, like, who makes, like, I don't know how to express it, but like, they want to see who's the best favela out of all of them, you feel me? So if you're like, uh, so if you're from another faction or militia, militia faction, yeah. you can't come here. Oh, okay. See, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like other faction, like he he made it. He, he made it sound better now. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Thank 
that's that's lit though. Wow. This is what this was what Rashina's NC were talking about in the song, Negro Drama. That they all from different favelas in the China, you feel me? Cute baby. American artwork. This is from an American American artwork. Man. Just living is not enough. One must have sunshine, freedom, mm -hmm. and a uh, little flower. Hmm. That's tough. Bro. I think it's little. That's tough. Oh yeah. <laughs> At every place they have these tools, they have to do something. Okay, somebody called. Like this is right in the ground. Yep. Wait, what? Like, you, you have to, the bomb, when you find up in the tools, so much. That's different. I noticed there's a lot of older people here. Uh, like, have they, they've been here probably since the 60s, no? Yeah, and it's a farm school. It's a lot of these people. Wow, that's nice. Like 30, 40, or 50 years. And many of them come out into this little park here in the morning and they get some sun, you know, and they kind of relax. Can you imagine the stories they have? I mean, living here? What they saw beforehand, there was none of this here. So, right. like, all of this was, was forest, was farmland. But I mean, the, you know, over the last 50 years, how much has changed? Yeah, right? they see everything get destroyed. It's up a lot of Like, just imagine right? many, many years ago. Arriving in this favela when it was all full, full all forests, all woods, all green. Wow. And now you have somebody like these elderly here just sitting there, we're gonna walk past. Yeah. Um, that now see what it's just a concrete jungle. Like you call New York City a concrete jungle, but this is really a concrete jungle. You must imagine how sad it must be to see the entire community go from green and small to wow. gigantic and Concrete. Concrete yeah. So these are constructed to stop police from entering. What? The car can come back. That's crazy. Very tightly. Uh, so uh, basically, so I need to do it. And I need to say to you, they were calling me, they were You can speak in English. Yeah, yeah. you can speak English. English. Oh, they were calling me, they were calling me. You can check out here, man. Basic sanitation, you're saying this is this is the worst that you like. No, I understand too because like like the sanitation part bro because like in like it's like the same thing bro. It was like people, I don't know, like it just has it's a mindset thing bro. It's a mindset, bro. If you want to really take care of your place, you're going to really take care of your place, bro. You feel me? But, like, it's gotten to the part where, like, a lot of people don't care so much that, like, it's become, like, a natural thing, bro. To, like, not care about, like, your place, not care about sanitation and stuff. Bro, literally, like, the same way in Ghana, too, bro. Because, like, you go to Ghana, some parts of Ghana, bro, some parts of Ghana look really beautiful, bro. They have a lot of, like, good places in Ghana, right? But then, there's some parts, bro. You could tell, like, they don't care about it. The government don't care. The people don't care. It's just, like, they just live in there to live, you feel me? They don't they don't appreciate what they have. They just don't care. So, like, it's, like, it's, like, at a point where, like, everybody just say, yeah, don't care. You're just going to live the life. Just call it a day and just... Just live the life, you know? So basically, he's talking really quick about the basic sanitation. This is a really serious issue. 35% yeah, of people in Rio de Janeiro have basic sanitation. One thing that really, we just had an election here. We literally had an election a few weeks ago. Wow. And the mayor who is... When you say here, you mean here? Here in Rio de Janeiro, okay, the mayor of Rio. And so what happened was is they come here to these communities. They say, oh, I'm going to do something. I'm going to make a project. I'm going to give you basic... They don't do nothing about it. They don't. It's basically... It's like a um a way to get the people to vote for them, bro. But but once they get in office, once they get what they want, they do nothing, bro. Literally, the people just the people just do that. Or oh, when I come into office, I'm gonna take care of this. I'm gonna make sure everything is right. 
it takes it takes it's just a mindset thing bro like i said bro it's just most people just want to it's just a way to get the people to believe them and vote for them and once they get in the office nothing happens nothing it's literally like and then there's a lot of corruption there's a lot of it's just bro once people get money greedy bro once people start getting the money that they want bro they just forget about the other people bro they forget about what they what the plan was to do before they got to the position they're in right now you feel me it's just crazy bro it's like me looking at this bro i would like it's something that has been going on in ghana for so long bro and me watching this just makes me think like it's not just a one place thing bro it happens everywhere bro literally everywhere bro just, just take a look at this bro this is brazil this is a place where a lot of people like if you mention brazil bro a lot of people like brazil is a really known country everybody knows brazil everybody knows brazil for like a lot of good stuff just to see like this bro it just re it relates to me bro it personally relates to me because like we, we have the same problem we went to the same struggles and stuff but that's crazy man it just makes me want to go to Brazil so bad, bro. I just want to see what it's like personally, because watching it is the same. Watching it is different from actually experiencing it, because I've gone through the same thing. We've gone through the same thing, mind you. We have like my dad has a he, he built his own house in the crowd. like he went through the struggles too. My dad's been in the struggles like, but so he built his own house in Ghana. We lived in the house, but he. Bro, what? Bro, what? What's up? All right, well I'll be updating him, bro. Like literally, so look, like, literally, my dad built a house in in the city, right, bro? But he like for like, I'm, I'm gonna tell you like, he built a house in Brazil. I think that's in Brazil. He built a house in the city in Ghana, right? But he wanted us to like experience what he went through. That he took us back to the village. It's not so we we went to we went to the village. We stayed in the village for like for like the summertime and we stay in the village for Christmas but he made us stay with our uncle like our uncle for five years bro he wanted us to experience the same thing he went through like not to experience just to see just to basically see what it's like the struck it's not it was not a bad thing I really had fun when I was in staying there but I'm saying like he wanted us to feel the same like the way he grew up and stuff so we literally lived with our uncle in like it's like a city in the village so we lived in the city part of the village he, he made us live with uncle for like five years to experience it and he made us like being there like because when i was in a crop like not nah, when i was in the city i really did not know my language right so he moved us to stay with our uncle so like i was saying bro so like basically it's like he wanted us to experience the thing and he wanted us to learn the language you feel me so he took us back to live with our uncle for five years so we learned the language and we literally experienced the same thing as the people you feel me they start to do one little thing, they put in one little pipe, they, they fix one little hole, and then everyone votes for them, and everyone becomes blind, oh he's going to fix it, and then nothing happens. Yes. Right. This was literally supposed to be fixed. That, that rock there was going to be something to fix this whole area. It was just promised a few weeks ago, the election passed, and you know what happened? Nothing. Nothing. So he's talking how it's super important, the school, the education system. Uh, That's crazy, bro. It's just... It's just, it's just really mind, it's blowing, it's mind blowing, bro. It's just, we have the same problems, bro. Same exact problems. Us to help uh, produce school, the education system, how he works with kids, what he does to help uh, produce better kids in our future. He's explaining literally here in Brazil, there is, there are so many kids who have no sexual education. They have no financial education. They come right out of school and they're not prepared at all for this world. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, Rio de Janeiro, which is even more difficult, which is even more difficult. So you really gotta understand. So he's actually a really, really intelligent person, really, really sensible, um, and has a vision that a lot of people don't have. So it's beautiful to see young, young men and women. No, one day the future yeah. president. Yeah, like we saw that, that that soccer field was totally beautiful and done and then look at this one out of sight out of mind yeah. out of sight out of mind out of mind for the, the vista for the, the sua mente what the hell? Uh, what the hell? Oh my god, see that? 
It's a, it's a mindset thing, bro. What did you need on Art Grid? Made for you, the creator who puts quality in love. Lions in the in the in the in the field they use flour and they make it a little like you know bag and they make the lions yeah they make the right? half field and the goal out of flour. <laughs> wow, this is brother and sister. It's like that's what they want. And what's the name of the bird? <laughs> Yeah. That's crazy, bro. And this is, you know, what's funny. Brazil produces a lot of soccer players, bro. A lot of one of the best soccer players. Like, if you really think about it, bro, Brazil has one of the best soccer players. And you think that this is what they came from, bro? That's crazy, bro. It's just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Like Neymar. Hawk, Fred, not the man, not the new Fred, the old Fred. If you guys know the old Fred, Fred, wait, let me see. Am I right? Let me see, bro. I think I'm right, bro. Cause there's two, there are two Freds. Yeah, Fred, the striker. Yeah. I'm talking about yeah, I'm talking about Fred, the actual Fred. Not Frederico Rodriguez. Not him. I'm talking about Fred. This one. Frederico. No wait. Yeah, I'm talking about Frederico Chavez Guedes. Yeah, that Fred. That's the Fred I meant. Those that Fred. To to see that all these people came from this like this this struggle that's just crazy, man. Uh, so he was talking basically about this little kid that was here in this little field. Yeah. Um, this is completely and a completely abandoned field. Right? We're talking about the political situation. Uh -huh. So his buddy there, um, he takes what he can do. He takes care of this field. He does like some work. He cleans out the leaves. He puts sand. He's, he wants to get some, you know, for some things for them. like so he has to play football nets. But it's, it's 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 unfortunate. It's a real. It's a it's a journey. It's not it's not easy. So he was just explaining the whole situation about what he's going what he goes through. You know how much the, the degradation of this pro this place has gone downhill so quickly. It's sad. It's all sad. Imagine walking through here, no lights, same rouge, same nada. Se você passar por aqui de noite, é. That's crazy. Yo, I remember reacting to Japa's song, I think Deja Vu, and somebody was telling me that to get a the bottle of Sprite, bro, it's expensive. It's really, really expensive, bro. You know what's funny? Looking at all this, bro. I want to try some Brazilian snacks. I want to do a video and try some Brazilian snacks, bro. Let me know if you guys want me to do that, to try some Brazilian snacks, bro. That would be a fun video. I want to see what you guys taste, what you guys eat, and what you guys, you feel me, what you guys like. So, yeah, man. It looks nice, though. Literally, like, in Ghana, too, bro, we have, like, we call, in Ghana, it's called, we call it kiosk. It's called a kiosk, right? So like, they literally have supplies like this. You just go in and buy your supplies. We have eggs, we have maggi, we have other, so much stuff, bro. We have so much, like we have candy, we have we have biscuits, we have a lot, bro. We have so much, we have something called, it's like, it's like a piece of chocolate. It's called chocomilo, if you guys know what I'm saying. It's called chocomilo, that's like, that was one of my favorite candies and stuff, you feel me? But it's like the same, bro. Looking at it, it's the same, bro. It's crazy. What? What's the Bill Gates? Uh, yeah, yeah. How's the famous Bill Gates? Chris Gates, Chris Gates. <laughs> wow, look at the truck. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See, this is the clean part. He has to watch tonight. Miguel, Miguel. This is the parts like politicians and TV people. This is the part of the part that they show. They don't really show the part, the, the bad ones. They show the good side of the favelas. You feel me? Tonight on YouTube. Vino, 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 vino
This was the house of a rapist. Right. Um, when he got caught, the bandits and the people kicked him out, and now it's so where it was a place where a place where there was a lot of hurt and pain. Yeah. Um, now it's a place of healing, and so there, there's actually some of the people who are raped by this man that are working here to this day, helping kids who are trying to stop victimism. Yeah. Yo, I like I like how they turn like like uh, like it was a place where like somebody like it was a hurt and pain and it's the switch it around to a place where people get healed. It's like I like I like the mindset what they did with it. I like what they did with it. Uh, Seth, Seth Yaki has been working, he's uh, from Anil, né? Uh, he was working in Anil, it's another community actually of like, militiamen. Um, he came here uh, to, uh, so he came here, right, to do this project. They actually sell oil, okay. old cooking oil. They make about two reais per oil, which is like a few cents, to be honest, in dollar in Canadian. Right. And they have to spend around like 20 cents to make it. So that's basically the primary income maker here for them to buy products, supplies, whatever. Right. Um, they have a, a large collection here of kids, 200. And it is, their, their, their soccer field is dirty and dilapidated, but they're working every single day to improve the situation. I mean, and it's the idea to just keep the kids off the street, to yeah, keep them busy. Right? Mm -hmm. Kids that are drug trafficking, you know. I mean, right. a kid that Cause it, bro, because like literally, we all this type of like, all these things going on, it's literally an easy like, like you see all this struggle, all this struggle going on, no education, nothing. It's really, really easy for the kids, like, or for like the younger people to easily just follow the route, the drug trafficking route, bro. Because that's the easiest money you can make, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Literally, they probably make more money doing that than doing this. So, they see how much money people make, they just follow the same route. They need the money, mind you, they need, it's not like, most of them don't want to do this. Most of them, it's not like they wake up and say, I want to be, I want to start selling drugs, I want to start doing this. It's literally because they've been struggling for so long, bro. They came to a realization, it was like, that's the only possible route I could take. To be a better person, or to have enough money to provide for my family and my and myself, or to build a better family, you feel me? That was the only route. That's how most of the like some people like you gotta understand, bro. It's, they don't like most people don't just wake up and just say yeah. I mean, some people do. Some people just want to live the the gang life, the gangster lifestyle. You feel me? But some people, like most people, bro. Like me watching this, I could tell like most people don't just want to just get up and sell drugs, bro. They don't just want to do that. They've been struggling for so long. It's crazy, and the and the country, the politicians, the president, the mayors, they don't want to do anything about it, and they always complain about there's a lot of drugs, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of stuff happening. It's cause of you. It's cause of this like stuff like this, bro. Nobody want to live in this type of like nobody want to live this lifestyle, bro. Everybody wants to have a good life, like being able to provide for their family and stuff, but. It is what it is. That's what. That's what we all like. That's how it ends up. You feel me? It's just crazy, bro. This kid enters drug traffic. The chances of him getting out, especially the younger they are, is next to nothing. Yeah. And education and, is. The and you see, like literally, he's just said that. So once, and the funny thing is, they don't want to get. They they don't choose that lifestyle. But once you get in that lifestyle, it's hard to get out from the lifestyle. You feel me? Once you get into the the gang, the trafficking and stuff. It's really hard to get out and to be like a normal person because you're already so much involved in it, bro. Like you have so much that you've made so much enemies, you've made this, this. You end up getting killed. You don't choose to get killed. You don't choose to join the life to get killed. You just choose to, you just choose that route to provide for your family. But it, it ends up. That's like the, that's like the, the consequences that comes with living that lifestyle. You feel me? to prevent drug traffic. Kids who enter, people who are in drug traffic, drug traffickers, 
90% of drug traffickers have a lower education level than seventh grade, which means that you know education is important to keeping them out. Yeah. So what's the most like to saw? Claro, okay, so what you see? This is the oil they use. Yeah. So where do they get the oil? Anyone gets because you don't want to throw it in the trash. Right down the drain. But I mean, he goes house to house to get it. Você vai para os casas, você fala pede pessoas para trazer para trazer para cá. So they make contracts with some com like commercial locations for them. To they also have people who bring it to them. And then they what filter it? And you have to put a filter. What's the first thing you do with the oil? Como você faz a, tipo, they just like basically collect the oil, the oil, and then they sell it to someone who repurposes it. Okay. So they're not making, they don't have the machine to repurpose it, they're mm -hmm. just selling to people who repurpose it. Okay. And how much do they sell that for? Two, Two. reais. Yeah. Yeah. So they got all the tops of, they have bottles and they were able to just trade it for a, a like a little wheelchair. And, and, and how many bottle cups do you need to get that? Mil também. Mil? Um mil. One thousand tops gets this. Wait, what is this? This is how much for a little bit of air, right? Yes, sir. So it's, a, it's, for, it's to put over the toilet so they can people can sit. So people who are who are oh, yeah, right, handicapped, right? Yeah, handicapped. So they use it. So they put it over the slide over the toilet. And yeah. Go. Hey, hello, 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 people. Good morning. Hey, welcome to. It's your twin. Well, welcome to. Welcome to. Welcome to. The city of God. The city of God. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Hey, 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 that was different, bro. That was, yeah, that's something else, bro. That's just the part one, bro. That's part one, bro. That's that's crazy, man. Anyway, man, anyway, man, that's it for today's video, man. That's it for City of God, most notorious favela in Brazil part one let me know if you guys want me to do the part two i'll check it out for you guys man so yeah man drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're watching from brazil hola do the bang how you doing yeah man this was something crazy bro like to be honest i would never expect it to like i was never expecting it me to like me to be able to relate to this but watching this bro i relate to this a lot i relate to this a lot you feel me so yeah man yeah man so yeah that's it man Without further ado, man, I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's your boy Mikey. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, man. I'll catch you guys. Yeah. Peace. Bell say CD ain't wearing no beat. I'm in the woods throwing Eminem and beat. When a nigga spin on, I know it's get feet. Smoking on sides, I ain't smoking on cheese. She know her man is a queen. No matter what happens in your life, you should never, ever give up on your passion. Everyone in this world goes through struggles of some sort. And I know, because I, for one, have to deal with constant fractures and lots of pain. But I believe that if I can turn impossible into impossible in my life, you can too. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. Oh, oh yeah, Maj. It's the one right here. What it do, uh, sauce up on you too, uh, you know I'm drippin', baby, and you drippin' too, uh, I know you love me, baby, and I love you too, uh, I know you love me, baby, and I love you too, uh, what it do, sauce up on you too, uh.